This is Lamstark, and in this video we will be looking at the equation of a circle. So the equation of a circle is basically x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. Now the only time this doesn't change is when the circle is centered at the origin, which means that it's going to center will be 0, 0. And this is the equation is x squared plus y squared is r squared. Now just remember that, but we won't be going into detail of that. Really, we're going into this first equation where the center will be a, b, and we'll work out how you find out what the center is and how you find out what the radius is as well as working out the equation of the circle. So this is an example of a question that you might get and it's work out the equation of a circle which has a center 6 minus 7 and radius 5. So in order to do this we're just going to put it into the equation. So that means that we're going to do x minus 6 squared and that's because 6 is equal to a and minus 7 is equal to b there and then this is going to plus y now minus minus 7 is equal to plus 7 this will be squared and this is all equal to the radius squared that's going to be equal to 5 squared so then we're going to expand these brackets to make x squared minus 12 x and then we're going to put plus 36 and then we'll expand the next bracket that's going to be equal to plus y squared plus 14 y plus 49 and you can square the 5 to get 25. Now then we're just going to tidy this up a bit a little bit to get x squared minus 12x plus y squared plus 14y and then we want this to equal 0 so we're going to minus 25 then add 36 and add 49 so 36 plus 49 is equal to 85 and then 85 minus 25 is equal to 60 so that's plus 60 and then that will be equal to 0 and that is the equation of this circle. So now what we have to do is work out the center and the radius of this equation and the equation is x squared plus 18x plus y squared minus 14y plus 30 is equal to 0 and this is the opposite to what we had to do last time. So instead of expanding it, instead we're going to have to factorize it and to do this what we're going to do is x here and then we're going to do 18 divided by 2 plus is equal to 9. So then you know that's going to be x plus 9 squared. And then the other one you're going to do minus 14 divided by 2, which means that that's going to be y minus 7. And then that will be squared. And then this is going to get your center. So this is therefore the center. And because the equation goes x minus a and y minus b, this means that your center will be, if it was x minus a, then a would have to be minus 9. And then if it was y minus b, then b would be 7. So your center is therefore minus 9, 7. So then now we just need to get the radius. And to do this, we're going to do x plus 9 squared. We're going to carry it on plus y minus 7 squared and all I'm going to do to the 30 is I'm not going to do anything that mathematical to it I'm just going to put it on the other side because this will just help us and it's a little bit easier if you think about it like this so therefore what we're going to do then is x squared plus 18 x plus y squared 
minus 14y. And if you can see, this is exactly the same as the um, as a question, which is a good sign, which means you've got it right. But then we're just going to add everything, the other parts together to see what the radius is. So 9 times 9 is equal to 81. And then um, minus 7 times minus 7 is equal to 49. 81 um, plus 49 is going to be equal to 130. And this is where it comes in useful to have this other 30 on the other side. Because we need to do something with this 30. And what we're just going to do is minus this 30 away. So 130 minus 30 is equal to 100. And that is going to be r squared. If you remember the equation is r squared. So r squared is equal to 100. That means that the radius is equal to 10. And there you are. Those are your answers. You can say that the radius is equal to 10 and the center is equal to minus 9, 7. So thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.